Ray Go Getters out there. Today is Wednesday, July 29, 2015. I hope you guys are enjoying this day and having a wonderful, blessed day. This is a Wow Wednesday video. Um, I want to do a special shout out to Monique Johnson. Happy birthday. I hope you enjoy this day and have a wonderful, blessed day. Um, and eat some cake. <laughs> Anyways. So, um, this video is basically um, just a Wow Wednesday video. Um, this morning I realized that it'll be nine years, well, nine months next month on the second that I've been in Las Vegas. Um, me and my son, and boy, how has time flew. And in that, um, in that time, I have, you know, had my ups and downs, my highs and my lows. Um, my standstills, all that. And so this day I'm declaring, you know, that this is my season to reap what I've sowed. So, um, to reap what I've sown. Um, I am declaring it and decreeing it in Jesus name that it's mine. Um, all the, the crying, you know, the praying, the, um, all the things you know wondering god what next where do i go from here am i doing this right all those things i am believing that you know now it's my time you know now i'm going to reap what i've sown um clear direction as to where to go from here and so i basically want to encourage you guys that it may seem like you know we've been crying for the same thing for months for weeks you know for years that we've been praying and asking god to to do something in our lives um we have seasons we all do seasons in our marriage seasons in our relationships seasons with our children uh seasons at the workplace seasons in um, the congregation seasons in life you know and so don't pay attention and focus on how long you've been going through this you know look for the the promises of god look for the 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 blessings to come from that you know say i know i'm not here for for no reason you know i know i'm going through for this for a purpose so i'm going through this for a purpose trust in that so don't look at it as i've been praying to god you know for a miracle for 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 months and it hasn't come yet just know that your season you know your time is going to come I would say for me, I've been dealing with a lot of patience, you know, in trusting God and putting my faith in him, uh, faith, trust and loyalty. These are things that I've been dealing with for these past nine months. And he gave this to me before I moved here. And it makes sense now, you know, um, I've learned so much in this downtime that I've had. Um, I've learned so much with just seeking him because I'm like, God, I don't know which way to go. And I've learned a tremendous amount. You know, there's still more to be learned, but I've learned so much. So with that being said, I'm like, I understand it now. You know, I understand why I was going through what I was going through. I understand why I'm at this standstill. You know, it's only for a, a, a greater purpose. And so I'm happy to be a part of that. I'm happy to be reaping the benefits of that. Um, so I just want to encourage you, you know, that we often go through seasons, you know, and, and don't get too comfortable either in that season because, you know, the blink of an eye, things can change. Things can just turn upside down, you know. So if anything, you know, when you get these blessings, pray. And when you don't have these blessings, still pray. And continue to seek God, whether it's good or bad, because I'm telling you, it's going to be beneficial. So even though I'm reaping these things, even though they're going to come and I believe they're coming in the midst of everything, um, I still have to pray. I still have to seek God because like I said, at any given time, everything can just change and shift. Um, but of course, keep your eye and your focus on God, make him your, your number one priority, you know, and he'll make um, you you his. Um, I believe that. I'm a firm believer of that. I believe that, you know, our prayers and our, our requests and stuff are not um, um, are not in vain. You know, when you praise him and you worship him and you seek him, you know, don't worry about, well, I've been doing this. I've been giving. I've been tithing. I've been offering. I've been doing this and that and, and nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, don't think like that because sometimes we don't even pay attention to the blessings in front of us we don't even pay attention to the blessing around us like stop just praying for stuff and not paying attention that that they've already come 
Um, take note of when God answers your prayers. You know, that helps, you know, with faith too. You pray for something and you're like, you know what? God did that. He came through for me. Like, keep note of that. Those are the things that you testify about, you know? Those are the things that strengthens your faith. So, I just want to encourage you guys that no matter what season you're in, whatever you're going through, whether it be in your marriage, with your children, you know, with schooling, whatever it is, financial, it's only for a season, you know, reaping may endure for the night, but rejoicing cometh in the morning. It's only for a season. So in that season, see what you can get out of what you're going through. See what you can learn in what you're going through. See how you can be better in what you're going through. Do not look at it as woe is me i can't wait till my season is over and my blessings come but what are you doing in the meantime of the storm you know um so i hope this helps um and it makes sense please everybody like share subscribe thumbs up um let's see what else um follow our facebook group you know stay connected with me visit www.gogetter.com i have my faith bracelet on today as well as my real life go get a wristband make sure you cop some inspirational you know things on on my site for sure this bracelet i believe i still have a couple more not sure but if anything you know at least a go get a wristband so you know when your head is down when you need to look up high you know because it's getting better it's already getting better um, you, you know, when you look at you, when you're looking and you see, you know what, I am a real life go get it, you know, despite what I'm going through, despite my challenges, you know, and things like that, I will succeed, you know, I will be successful. And like I said, success is not just money, cars, fortune and fame. It's being happy. It's love, joy, peace, you know, happiness, true success. Um, and so yes, visit www.gogetit.com, um, connect with me. And if you guys can do something for me, drop some wonderful happy birthday love to Monique Johnson. Um, let me know that you're listening to what it is that I'm saying. Let me know. Uh, that lets me know you've watched my video from beginning to end. So if you have, please leave, you know, some birthday love for Monique. And I might mention you in my next video. Who knows? Thank you guys and have a wonderful, blessed day. And, um... I think the, let me see, um, the seasons, a season and time for everything, I think that's an Ecclesiates. I always get it confused. I don't know if it's Ecclesiates or Ephesians. Um, it's Ecclesiates 3. So Ecclesiates 3, a time for everything. So make sure you guys read that and understand that there is a time for everything. We are, you know, going through things in different seasons. Our brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, everywhere, all across the globe. You're not just the only ones dealing with financial burdens, you know, dealing with the loss of a loved one, dealing with, you know, your children acting out, dealing with divorce, whatever. Everybody, you know, all across the board are going through things. So just know there's a time for everything. It's Ecclesiastes 3. You guys take care. See ya.